Oh my god, it is so hot. Hello and welcome to this video. Let's take you on a journey. And today's journey is to find out if fine dining is actually worth it. Uh, in my opinion, it most probably isn't. But you gotta keep the economy moving. Also, before I sweat and fall, let's go. I'll give you a little rundown. We are going to Sobremisa, which is a new restaurant. I don't know if it's new or not, but it's new for me. I've only been there once and I ordered their deep dish pizza. Their Facebook page has a lot of mixed reviews. So today I'm going there with my family and we're gonna check it out. Guys, we've arrived to Sobremisa. I'm thinking of going Fast, are you getting the shrimp? No, it's red sauce. I like the floor, it's very high end. Just for the life of me, it's shiitake stuffed chicken. I was calling it shiitake. <laughs> so much for being fancy. Guys, I'm overwhelmed with the choices. I don't know what to get. There's so many things. Yes, we have ordered. What are you getting? Portofino? Okay, I'm getting the sober meat chicken. Like Guys, I got yeah, the sobre mesa sure. chicken. It comes with sure. pesto sure. and spaghetti. This is the chicken and it comes with a couple of sauces. That is Moroccan chicken and that is the porta pina, which is a pasta. Porta pino. Porta pino. Bugs, you're giving me my, your dried tomatoes. Looks good. That is a fat steak. That is a fat steak, yes. And that is... Then what did you get? She, she talked That's stuff. also a steak. This is really, really good, but it's a little spicy. This pesto pasta is 10 on 10. Sorry, but you almost spot there, didn't I? It's really good. It's really hot. It's really hot. How, how much would you give it out of a 10? 10, but my incisors are on fire. Why did that steak rubbish? The Moroccan chicken was... Whoa! <laughs> I really enjoyed this dish. If I could give it a rating, I would probably give it an 8 on 10. It was really, really good. But I feel like, I mean, it didn't really lack anything, but for me, it was an 8 out of 10 because I definitely had better chicken with better sauce. But it was a really good, good dish. 10 on 10. 10 on 10. Am I rating? Uh, yeah, 9 on 10. 9 on 10? Savage rating? Mm. Mid to 9. Mid to 9? 10? <coughs> two 10s, two 9s, and I'm giving this an 8. At Cardi's, and I'm trying to get something to eat. I'm trying to get something for Eid, and so far it's a fail. Literally, I cannot find anything to wear. Anything, everything that I see is just I've worn it. It's been in fashion for for so long, or it's just not good. So far, I'm at Cardi, and I found blue tights, black camisole. This is not good because I might not have anything to wear for Eid. So I don't have time to get anything stitched. There's only one week left and there's nothing at the mall. I've picked out one shirt from Cardi, so I might wear that on Eid. Let's try. Okay, update. I think I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy that stuff. I'm not gonna show you that because I wanna do a haul. But I mean, I still need an Eid outfit. This isn't really an Eid outfit. It's just an everyday cash and I feel like a lot of people are buying this shirt so almost everyone's gonna have it but yeah I'm gonna get those tights I need black I mean blue tights clearly I can't talk today hmm I quite like this I think this is a potential Eve outfit not with the pants obviously I'm gonna get some pants made like flare pants but I feel like it could be a good outfit guys what the heck is this oh my god God, look at the shoes of this. It's like a challenge moving around in this outfit because it's so heavy. It looked cute on a hanger, but it's just, it's not practical. Like if I put this on as well, I feel like a bird. This is a no. <laughs> what even is this weather? Somebody's gonna die out there. Look at that, like, oh my God, constant lightning. That's like screaming, like the sky is screaming. I might be dramatizing it a bit, but I'm actually not. Like you might think that I am, but I'm not. Hello, it's been a 
a while since I picked up the camera. Let's turn a light on. So update is that I did actually find some stuff that to wear on Eid. Get excited for Eid because the Bakras are going to be coming. I really want to go to the Bakra Mandi. Hello! If you lose myself, I will find you. I cannot sing to save my life. Excuse that. This morning I decided to clean out my makeup drawer. Let me put my glasses on because I can't see anything. What did I just say? My what drawer? So my makeup collection was in a bit of a mess and I wanted to clean it out and that is exactly what I did. So I, I got this, I got a uh, wallet from Hobo and so the box that it came in I kind of put that as a separator and then I put all my blushers here, then this is the cream blushers, this is where I keep my powders and this is some lip stuff that I should use more of and I don't. That's highlighters and blush palettes, like this is a blush palette, highlighters, some lip palettes, um, Colourpop and some more highlight. And if you look down, then this is where I keep more highlighting palettes and some contour palettes. But yeah, I also have an eye palette here, like Tarte, the Tartiest Pro. These are my eyeshadow palettes and these are also my eyeshadow palettes. Oh, and those are some single eyeshadows, some skincare. And I keep some of my skincare hair and hair as well. I'm kind of on a cleanse from skincare, not really spending a lot on skincare. So yeah, that was my makeup collection. I was like a very quick tour of my makeup collection. Oh, oh, I forgot to show you this. I cleaned that out as well. So this is all my foundations. I have been really, really, really liking this one. This is the Bourjois 123 Perfect. Lip stuff, more lip stuff more lip stuff I have a lot of lip stuff guys don't judge lip stuff lip stuff and this is my most used lip stuff these are all my lip liners that I have been using almost every day but I'm giving away a lot of my makeup not a lot like a fair amount so this I think I will be giving away to my maid this is in good quality but I don't use it and I don't know if my mom wants to use it I'll ask her if she wants to but I feel like I'm gonna give it to my maid as an Eid gift because she was asking me about makeup and I had a little bit of extra makeup which I haven't some of the stuff that I have I haven't really used and I kind of bought on an impulse so I was like let's give it to my maid she'll like it Sorted out for Eid. Ma, you, you haven't got anything, Amma. Enough? Yeah, okay. So mom doesn't have anything. I have to give stuff, as always. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, there is a ghost in this car who is controlling the playlist in this, in this car. Because we, we were listening to something else and this song started playing. Didn't know we had a CD. Where are you, Mr. Ghost? Show yourself. We're at charcoal again. I'll be sick of seeing us eat here, but we're not sick of it yet. I'm getting the stuffed grilled chicken. I've never tried this chicken, so I'm gonna be a little adventurous and try it, guys. So this is the stuffed chicken, and I'm also having my brother's vegetables because he's not too keen. Temur has the the best one. The, I discovered that dish, Parmesan pasta. Basically, Italian chicken and pasta together for a lower price. If you are looking for a bargain, Parmesan pasta for sure. That's what you get. Tarragon chicken. Tarragon chicken. chicken. Mom, what did you get? get? Um, what did I get? What did, what did you get? Jalapeno pasta. Mom doesn't know what she got, but yeah, okay, jalapeno pasta. pasta. Okay. <laughs> and that's my veggies. I'm still waiting on my rice. This is hot, but <clears> it <throat> looks dope. Oh my god, the entrance of this is really nice. I wonder what it's called. Yeah. 
I'm gonna start this video off with a Q&A. So I've accumulated a couple of questions that I asked people to ask me and they have asked me, so I shall answer them now. Question number one, I have them written down on a piece of paper. Were you popular in high school? I don't know, I don't think so. Like maybe when I was in school, like till one till 10th grade, till the seventh, eighth grade, I don't think I was popular, but I think probably like in 8th to ninth grade, I became friends with people who were a little popular and well known. So that's how people knew me. But I wasn't like the popular girl. So that's that. Then, how did you deal with mean girls in school? I feel like it's very, very tough now that uh, there's so much social media, there's so much pressure to be perfect and there's so much pressure to be on top of everything. It's very difficult to deal with mean girls. But the best way to do is just to ignore them because you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. Chances are if someone is going to be mean to you and if someone's going to talk about you behind your back, stay away from them. You don't need that kind of person in your life. Say goodbye and your life will be a lot better. Question number three, did you have any fights in school? By the way, the theme of this was high school and I asked you guys to ask me these questions like three months back or two months back huh did i have any fights in school yeah like um fights like like not physical fights obviously because that's not something that i would have but yeah i've had a fight in school and it was so stupid i can't even remember what the fight was about i just know that we had a fight and it was stupid and i've forgotten about it and don't fight in school guys it's not good also here's my outfit i went for a very cash look i just opened my hair because it looks like a mess. I'm wearing some mom jeans right here and I haven't got a booty, so uh, ignore that. I'm wearing this plain white tee which I got from Outfitters Men's Section. And these earrings are from Sapphire. Question number four. And I got this question a lot, like a lot. Question is, when am I getting married? I am not sure, actually. I don't know when I'm getting married. I don't have a date set. I don't... I no idea when i'm getting married i feel like marriage is something that's gonna happen and i've just i've kind of left it like i don't think about it and it's gonna happen when it's meant to happen and i don't know when i'm getting married so i wish i could tell you but i don't know myself question number five how to stay fit honestly i probably am the worst person to ask but uh the only way to stay fit is to exercise you don't really have to control your diet i mean i don't think so so you don't have to control your diet if you already eat not a lot and by that i mean just like three courses three meals a day but if you're going a little bit overboard or if you're eating out then you might want to cut back on that because if you want to stay fit you need to avoid eating out a lot eat ghar ka khana healthy food and just work out like make sure you get some amount of time in the day where you can exercise because that always helps i am gonna do one last question and that is what is my favorite song at the moment favorite song at the moment gosh i have so many favorite songs my favorite song is strange by lp love that song it's really really good